So, right off the rip, we finally get out the kind of relaxing episode of the Classroom of Elite. And I gotta say, guys, I, I, fan service is fan service. I'm a guy. I'm gonna like it whenever it's, you know, especially for a female character. That is always a 12 out of 10 in most animes. Which, people who have been here long enough, you know I say 12 out of 10. Because there's just so many unrealistically good-looking girls in anime. We know that. Gotta make them sales, though, right? But the thing I got to say and admit to you guys is... I paused quite a bit in this episode, for reasons that only concern myself, of course, but I gotta say, we gotta see Horikita, we got the two pieces out, we gotta see Kushida, we gotta see Ichinose, we already know what Sakura looks like, given, what a waste, I, wearing a jacket, come on now, gosh damn it, but no, in all seriousness, who is best girl, in terms of look, nothing, you know, nothing else, just in terms of look, I'm dying to know what you guys say down in the comments below, and... Yeah, I'm deducting points off of Sakura, so now I'm going up to the other three. And I think Chino say has got it going on. No, but enough with the cringe, enough with that. Let's hop into the other serious thing. So, this episode is really based on Horikita, and that's what it's really trying to push forward is getting her to develop as a character, getting her to, you know, be more, just, just be more outgoing a little bit. Actually, you gotta get to know the people that are in her class. Don't be a, a shut-in, locked-in. And we see that her schedule is eat, study, eat, study. It's nothing else. And we see at the end of the episode, because I just want to start with that really quick here. She smiles and says, it's much easier being my real self. And that makes me ask, who is the real you, Horikita? What kind of person are you truly? Are you the actual 180 of the personality you've been, you know, showing us? The persona that you've shown us? Or, I mean, I, I feel as though she is that. She's a little bit of this, but she's also half, a, you know, half of what we saw at the very end, which wasn't much, but smiling girl that does like to have fun, that does enjoy being with people, is that the real Horikita? And... That's something that I really want to know. Like, what what's the percentage here? Is she only being 25% of her real self right now that we've seen in the last seven episodes? Is she only being 50% of herself? Maybe she's only being, you know, just a measly 5% of herself. I'm really wondering. I mean, I feel as if she's completely faking her persona, and I, I think I just messed up the percentage I was talking about. Is she 75%? Is 75% of herself that we've seen in the last seven episodes just to fake her? That That's what I'm wondering, and that's what I'm thinking. And a matter of fact, I think 90% of her in the in these past like seven episodes is the fake her is not the real her and i'm dying to know who the real her is there the percentages have been explained a little bit more properly now so f you guys whenever you said she's 75 percent the real her what are you kidding me screw you so a couple of funny things happened this episode we had horikita's brother did anyone like even just grasp this at first saying what the hell so Horikita's brother, whenever they're like about to go into the bathroom, even though there's maintenance going on, he jumps from the second story, which is probably about a 15 foot drop. Well, actually, probably about a 20 foot drop. Actually, if, I, if I'm just like thinking of a hotel, when you have, whenever you have like the second story, it's just like 20 feet in between. But so he jumps down like 20 feet, and he's just no shoes on, no nothing, barefoot, perfectly fine. Did this man really just jump off the second the second floor and be okay? <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> what is this? What the hell's going on? But we also have um, Sakura splashing a you know Ayano trying to get in on the fun, and then she goes underwater and says sorry. This guy, she's like, sorry. I just like what the hell. But we do. If you guys made this far in the video, hopefully you did. I'm gonna try to get this down in five minutes. But if you saw the scene, well you did see the scene. But she's you know Horikita sees she doesn't like me. She says it. She states it. She's like, she doesn't like me. But why does she try to get so close to the people she doesn't like? And it seems as if the only person she's tried to get close to, or has, or at least one-sidedly got gotten close to, was Ayano. And but it seems as if she likes Ayano in general, though. She wants to be close to him. It seems as if like maybe she she wants to be with Ayano. I think that I kind of got those kind of like undertone-esque feelings early in you know in the earlier episodes. So I'm just wondering what's going on with that. But I hope they have something cool that's uh, transpired to where. Kushida finally gets exposed, and we're all just kind of like, okay, so how did you guys see through her? Because we've seen multiple people say, you know, Ayano saying, I wonder if that's the real her. And he's like, that probably is the real her. Then we have Horikita, you know, stating this episode, she, why does she try to get close to people she doesn't like? I know she doesn't like me. And then we have Sakura, who, like, just, she's, like, she doesn't really know the real Kushida, but she can sense, like, 
a bad or from her is, is basically the best way to explain it. You know, that's kind of what they stated in was the last episode or the episode before that. You, you know, Iana says, hmm, Sokka doesn't trust her for some reason. She she senses it. It's, it's as if she can sense that there's something about her. So I'm really wondering what the hell is going on with that. Um, yeah, but other than that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, X25. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much.